First test then, 4K, 30 frames a second, so 60th shutter speed, wide open with the XF18, of course. This is Eterna. Now, the official definition or explanation, <laughs> description, description for Eterna. It's a good job this is just test footage, right? Even though I'm going to post it. Obviously, I've posted it. Right, Eterna simulates the colors and tonality of Fujifilm's motion picture film allows users to record video in subdued colors and rich shadow tones now the video real video shooters out there that are into eterna will know what they can do with it and probably will have compared it with airflog itself hlg there's some fantastic comparison videos out there from people who know what <laughs> they're doing now i've got a little bit of experience now with bit of color grading and stuff but i'm not that into it and i i've been happy with what fujifilm puts out but i wanted to see how we get on and compare with the new one which is bleach bypass so let's switch over to that now of course you can see a marked difference with this and again this could be something that not necessarily in this environment in this particular scene but could work for you in certain applications i could think of some sort of pretty cool movie scenes, you know, music video stuff. There's, there's stuff out there, definitely. This is what Fujifilm say. Uh, the X-T4 features the... Uh, it literally says, the X-T4 features the our new color expression. Let me screenshot that and show you. Granted, not part of the test, but interesting. Yeah, people are getting very lazy with their... Uh, copywriting these days anyway we digress and plus it's just for test footage whatever right eterna bleach bypass it produces a high contrast look while keeping the level of color saturation low faithfully reproducing a film processing technique called bleach bypass which has been popular among many creative producers since the days of film photography fair enough if you've got experience doing this film process let us know and if you've compared it with this digital process let us know how you feel about it now i didn't do this per se or almost ever when i was a film shooter way back in uni um oh and college but yeah although i did love my fuji film neo pan that's a whole different thing and yeah my darkroom process was a little bit different and if you've watched the channel any length of time, even though I don't really put up anything edited or any masterpieces, just very rough samples, you could probably get the idea that I'm not into over-processing and stuff like that. I like it nice and natural colours, deep colours, good saturation, details in the shadows. Anyway, we digress purely for testing purposes so we can flick between the two. Just to add... I am shooting at 200 megabits per second. I was having problems for some reason at 400 megabits per second today on the take that I did before this. So, yeah, probably need to uh, step up even more, but I don't think I really need to. Anyway, what I do need to do is test this out in a few different scenes. Now, I'm doing this while we're on lockdown still, video when it goes out, hopefully we'll be out of lockdown. Well, hopefully we'll be safe enough to go out of lockdown because to all intents and purposes, they'll probably take us out of lockdown a little bit too early. Anyway, we digress. Let's go to a different scene. We're back in the Turner and this time I am using the IBIS. Generally it works out a treat for me, even panning. I haven't had any problems with jumps that people have spoken about, at least when it first came out there's always somebody looking for bugs and that. i suppose somebody's got to do it, but i think the internet does get a bit too extreme anyway now we're using the xf 18 to 55 as you'd have seen up there or somewhere around here <sighs> yeah there'll be blown out highlights over there i'm afraid so if we bring it around a bit i did do a previous take and i got attacked by a big fat bee <laughs> but for some reason the ibis was giving me some jip so I'm redoing it just for clarity. Might put it in because I haven't had 
like I say, problems really with the IBIS, but it could just be me, user error kind of thing. Anyway, I must stop looking at that screen. I did say that on my first rubbish test. This hopefully will be a bit better even as a vlog test as well as a Turner versus Bleach Bypass. Talking about Bleach Bypass, there we go. Now, I mean, it could have some pretty interesting applications, I suppose. And I would expect this, this isn't really the main scene for it and the main application for it, but as far as testing goes, not too bad. Definitely getting shaky now. Shooting wide open, arm's length, IBIS and OIS on and boost on. Let's move to a completely different scene and a completely different lens. And finally, back to the XF 18 to 55, IBIS, OIS, on boost, on AFC, on 60th, wide open, uh, I forgot what I'm doing now, Eterna, and I'm extended, and yeah, I've had to bring the mic down, I always seem to end up with this T4, having to bring the mic levels down, especially when I'm in an environment like this, so apologise for the sound there, I don't know, preamps seem a bit... <sighs> Seems to bring the signal in a little bit hotter than the T3. Anyway, there we go. Right, so for one final occasion, let's switch over to Bleach Bypass. There we go. Um, doing that thing where I'm looking at the screen all the time now. It was kind of soul sapping <laughs> using this on flowers and the like. I do want to get out and use it on some more urban scenes, some more city scenes stuff like that but uh, you know what i think i'm kind of falling for these simulations a bit more now i tell you what you want to do is get out and put these things into practice even if you're not into them at first having a little bit of time just half an hour just to have a play you might find that you'll end up wanting to add them to your creative toolbox there's definitely something in there again down to the scene and situation and in these tests, we haven't really been able to look at that, but I've got a good idea of what's going on now and what the potential is. So there's more to explore, but I want to hear from you in the comments below. Let me switch over, or I should say back to Proneg High, which is the run and gun simulation that I tend to use. 
And then we'll wrap it up. Now, of course, Pro Neg Height is a film simulation as opposed to a movie only. Yeah, you can use the others too. So it's pretty cool. Actually, if you haven't got a T4, T3, etc., there is a way of using LUTs to apply Eterna, and I believe Eterna Bleach Bypass, to your footage afterwards in post. So that might be worth checking out. Maybe I'll put a video up how to do that. But there we go. Back to... <laughs> Feels kind of boring now, but it's nice to have a little bit of colour in there. Anyway, all you fans of F-Log stuff, Eterna stuff, this would have just been... Probably, you probably wouldn't have got this far anyway. But I appreciate it if you did. So, subscribe. Leave a comment below. All your subscriptions make a massive difference to the channel. That way we can put out cooler stuff, more stuff, get more goodies to play with. All thanks to you guys and girls. So, make sure to do that. Subscribe. I believe you should really be hitting the notification bell and stuff like that. But I know... A lot of you faithful ones out there still check out my random waffle without hitting notification. Anyway, that's enough of that. Hopefully this has been useful. We use the 18F2, 18 to 55, 35 and the 60. But what we need to do next is get some fresh scenes. Hopefully lockdown is over by the time this goes out and we can do that and take on board some of your tips too. If we're still on lockdown... And anyway, in general, stay safe. Take it easy.